What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and today we are going to be doing the weekly update, um, not much this week, we have the Pearl Items for Troubles in the Pearl Shop update for March 25th. Nothing much else to note this week, but so it'll be a quicker video. At the end, I'll talk about where I've been and what, uh, what's what been going on. A little bit of an update personally with the coronavirus kind of going on. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the end uh, and I'll go over all that. But let's get into this video. Um, should be pretty quick. Like I said, fairly quick. That's why I'm throwing kind of the update at the end. So let me stop talking about that and let's get into this. So first we have pearl items for your troubles. Uh, so this is a new quest, uh, special quest and rewards, where you'll get some pearl items for doing uh, these said quests. So if you go to this page, like always, I will link this homepage so you can take a look at for yourself if you want. Uh, they have three different things up here, NAEU and Asia. They are all the same rewards, all the same quests. It's just going over the time frames that they'll release. So I'm just going to go over the NA one, not going to go too deeply into the times. Uh, but you can see that two quests released yesterday, one today, one tomorrow, one Friday, one Saturday, one Sunday, and then one next Monday. You can see they run uh, consecutively with how they were released. So two will end on April 15th and then one all the way to the 21st of April. So plenty of time to get these done if you are interested and you want to get them done. Um, gives you a little bit under a month, but uh, let's get into it. So first we have the Tycoon in question. I'm assuming you do these in order, that would be my guess, but uh, this quest can be accepted from the Black Spirit. Meet Luhefa, will can give you Contribution XP 50 reward. Uh, people are the greatest asset. Obtain all knowledge in the Serendia Village and Galish Villager categories. You'll get the Storage Butler Ethan. Uh, understanding others, you'll capture one horse successfully. Uh, and you'll get Mount Skill Change times 5 coupon. Uh, see, their tr see through the true value. Uh, gather one everlasting herb will give you a wizard gosfi. Uh, importance of a relaxed mind. Fish two grunts. Uh, transaction butler Ethan is your reward. Uh, get ahead of others. Turn in one triple float fishing rod. Item reward is item brand spellstone times three. A secret companion. Hand over one x glimmering fairy wings to Luhefa. You'll get a blessing of camisil for 20 days. Raise your worth, complete the awakening quest, you'll get a classic outfit set. So, pretty interesting little quest. Uh, it's a nice little event period. I like that they give everybody plenty of time to get these done if you're interested. So, uh, hop on those. Actually, you don't even have to hop on them quickly if you're, uh, if you're interested in doing them because they gave you plenty of time. So, let's get into this. We have the Pearl Shop update. Not anything major here. There is a couple of new outfits that I'll go over. I haven't pulled up the outfits, so we'll go over the outfits uh, when we get to that. But first, we have the event Dazzling Adventure Box. This is really the new ad. It's a thousand pearls, which is the min price for anything that you're going to pull out of here, I believe, other than maybe like the trainer's flute. I don't actually know how much that is, but the rest of it uh, is all on, o over a thousand. So at 11%, your highest odds is a value pack of 20 days. At 10% is a break even of Desert Fox and Lost Penguin. 9.5%, you'll look at the Hedgehog. 7.75% is the Storage and Transaction Maids, Fairy Irene. 7.5%, you're looking at Blessing of Camisil, 15 days, and Inventory plus 16 Expansion Coupon. At 5.5%, you're looking at Ornette's Dark Honey Wine times 10 and a Trainer's Flute Permanent. Uh, at 4%, you're looking at Wizard Gosfi. At 3.5%, you're looking at Blessing of Camisilv and Secret Book of Old Moon, both 20 days. At 2.05%, uh, you're looking at Darkthorn Horse Gear Set. And at 1.65%, the big wins are the Venisil Dress Car Key Suit Costume Box, the Treant Camouflage Costume Box, and the Classic Outfit Box. So those are the big rewards. It's a decent thing if you're interested in a large chunk of the stuff that's available in this pearl in this um, dazzling adventure box uh, for a thousand pearls. It's a pretty good value, uh, but you have to actually be interested in some of the stuff that's in there. In my opinion, uh, you're not going to make a whole lot of money because some of the stuff you can't sell. So it's not like you can pull all of it and just sell it. So uh, you will have to keep that in mind. Moving on is the Event Masters of Enhancement Pack. This is 40% off. It's 5640 instead of 9400. You get an Artisan Memory times 50, Volk's Cry times 20, Crone Stone times 100, Memory Fragment times 50, Advice of the Volks plus 40, and Blacksmith Secret Stone 100. 
Uh, pretty good value for master for enhancement pack. Um, Forty percent off, always good. Um, but that's really the only other thing here, except for the new outfits. So we got the new outfits: Justing Premium Set and Grotevant Premium Set. Grotevant for Warrior and Justing, Jousting. I don't know why I'm calling it Just Jousting. Uh, for Valkyrie. Um, they also released double premium packs which give you Grotevant and Doomsday for the Warrior and Jousting and Enslar for the Valkyrie. We'll go over the Valk or no we'll go over the Warrior first and then we'll go over the Valk and then I'll talk about some other stuff before we call the video. So Warrior here is the uh, Grotevant. This is the new set. It's a fairly cool looking new set. If you want to know I am on BDOMMOFashion.com. Um, there's one the next one is not on BDO Fashion. Well, it's on BDO Fashion, but I found a better picture. So, the the Grotevant, pretty cool looking set. You can see down here, that's without the helmet. I'll provide a link to uh, BDO MMO Fashion uh, in the description, so you guys can come over here and check out different outfit sets if you would like. Um, but this is the Grotevant, one of... One of my, it's a, it's a favorite for the Warrior. I like it. It's a cool looking set. Reminds me of a Dark Souls armor set. Uh, so very cool there. Next we have the Doomsday. This is really cool. Also reminds me kind of of a Dark Souls one. I like the kind of cape that's that's kind of built like wings. Uh, so I think that's a pretty cool looking uh, outfit set. Um, I'm not sure. There's some Warrior sets that are really cool. So I'm not sure I will love these necessarily. But I think they're pretty decent uh, outfit sets. Uh, but moving on, let's look at, this is the jousting. Um, I found this on some random Facebook page when I was looking up pictures uh, before I went to MMO, BDO, MMO fashion because I couldn't find anything better. But this was a good picture of the jousting set. Um, it looks better without the helmet, obviously, but not my favorite set. It's decent, but not my favorite set. And then we also have the Ensilar, which is a great looking set. One of my favorites. It's a really good looking set for the Valk. It also makes the, um, it also makes the, the uh, your spear, your lance, look really nice. I like the lance uh, skin that it gives you, um, as well as the sword, uh, the sword or the sword, the shield um, skin that it gives for you. Uh, but that is all of the new stuff uh, for this week. Hopefully, we get a little bit more for me to talk about next week. Uh, but that's going to do it for this part, guys. If you don't care about uh, the update that I have, uh, just go ahead and uh, drop a like, and I'll see you guys next video. But uh, for any of you that are interested, so. The coronavirus obviously shut down a bunch of all the sports, essentially. Um, I lost a bunch of money gambling on stuff I shouldn't have gambled in sports. And so um, it's really hurt my... Because what I was doing for a job was sports betting and without sports. Obviously, March Madness was a huge time. It's going to be a big month for me. Um, but obviously, that got canceled. So now I'm currently down to like a very minimal income. You guys know that I work as an office administrator and uh but i only work that job once or twice a week so it's not like i'm making a whole lot off of that every week um and my income is essentially down to zero i am not making anything off of sports betting i actually lost a bunch because i pressed myself too far i overextended on australian rugby australian uh soccer and australian rules football i had one really good day of it and i thought that i had it like all under control but that's not really how it went I struggled. I got some bit pretty brutal losses. I mean, from like the standpoint of it was really close to a win and it just didn't come through. Um, so I just had some bad losses that hurt and then uh, all that. So what I've been trying to do recently is I've been investing a bunch of time learning the stock market. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I just never really got into it. Um, but a friend got me into kind of download one of the stock apps and I, I i got into it and now i'm pouring in time and effort to try to learn it more um so that you know sports are always forever liquid moving they're not uh, they're not super stable and as the you know stock market's not stable either but this would give me a secondary kind of thing to pair with my sports betting so that's what i've been doing i've been pouring time and effort over the past week i poured like eight hours into it yesterday trying to learn everything about buying stocks, selling stocks, dividends, taxes, all of that different stuff. It, it's just a time. I haven't played any MMOs. I, I haven't touched PSO2 since it came back. It's just I've been pouring time and effort and all of my time into it, trying to learn it and get prepared. Um, I have some stocks that I'm very confident in right now. 
I have a portfolio I'm building out, trying to figure out what stocks I want to get for the long haul. Um, and so that's what I've been pouring my effort into. I'm hoping I will get it narrowed down and hammered out to a point where I'm not spending a ton of time on it every day, hopefully next week. But for now, obviously not even touching MMOs. I've been playing Call of Duty still at times with friends. Obviously, people are off work, so a lot of people have been hitting me up for, for Call of Duty and stuff like that. So I've still been doing that. Um, but yeah, I've had to kind of reinvent myself without sports, and, and there's no guarantee of when it's going to come back. Tomorrow was supposed to be opening day of baseball, obviously, and we don't have that. Um, so I'm hoping maybe sports will be back in May. Um, I know Walt Disney World and uh, Disneyland announced they want to open up on April 1st, which would pave the way for sports to be reintroduced, but we're still in kind of a limbo stage. Hopefully sports will come back here soon enough, but there are worlds where sports doesn't come back till late July, August. We don't give sports back until football starts. I mean, there is worlds where, where, uh, where, where I'm in deep trouble with no sports to bet on, which is my income. So that's why I've kind of migrated to putting all this time and effort into stocks. It's important to learn stocks anyway, but it's something that I'm putting a bunch of time and effort into. But I did want to at least bring you guys this video, and I promise even if I'm still deep diving into stocks, I will have next week's video on pearl items and all that different stuff for you guys. Um, and uh, we'll go into that. But uh, uh, bear with me, guys. Um, this is really important for me. I, I like I can't have I can't be making zero dollars. So I've been pouring all the time and effort into that. Uh, I hope you guys understand, and uh, I will catch you guys um, hopefully very soon with another video. But uh, like I said, thanks for understanding, guys, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.